Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a drop down list. Let's see an example. Here we have uh, a title named home budget with three columns, serial number, expenses and amount. And in the expenses column from one to 10, we are going to have some expenses name. So let's go ahead and create a list of expenses. Here in sheet two, I have already typed in a list of expenses select all these values and after selecting these values here in the name box let's delete whatever we have there and let's type a name expenses so as you can see when i select all these values these values has been grouped under a name called expenses so let's get back to sheet one and under expenses let's select the cells from B6 all the way to B15. So totally we have selected 10 cells to accommodate 10 different types of expenses. So after selecting those cells, go to data menu and click on validation under validation dialog box under settings tab in validation criteria, allow instead of any value, let's say list. And in the source, you type it as equal to if you forgot your group name, you just simply press the function key F3 on your keyboard and you will get the group name which we have previously created. So I'm going to select expenses and say OK, OK again. And there you go. Right now you have the drop down list with set of values which you can select for all those 10 cells. House rent, public transportation internet bill so let's go ahead and fill up the rest of the expenses to make the title more relevant you can also type it as home budget for the month instead of typing the month you can create a list for all the months and also for year you can create another list so let's go back to sheet 2 and let's create a list of months January drag and say fill series with all the cells uh, selector go back to this name box and let's type it as months and again for year the current year is 2013 let's say I want a budget for the next 10 years so fill series till 2022 so let's select all these values and again go back to the name box and give it as years so after creating two more set of lists let's head back to sheet one and here in c2 let's create a drop down list again go to data validation and data validation the settings tab in validation criteria allow list the source type it as equal to f3 on your keyboard to bring in the names of uh, the list I'm going to select the months, OK, click OK again. And there you can see, you can select the month. Current month is February. And again for year, I'm going to go back to the data menu, click on validation under settings tab in data validation, in validation criteria, allow list and equal to F3 on your keyboard to bring the list names. And you select the required list and click on OK. So as you can see, I can select the current year and that's it. This is how you create drop-down list in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.